on the training route today. The weather is a balmy 8 degrees, which is warm. Uh, it's not that cold actually, it's great. However, I'm still freezing. I've been off the bike for a few days. Planning other rides and whatnot. So, uh, little 13.9 miler. Quite enjoying it. Yeah, we've not been on the bike for a few days. Feeling a little bit unfit. The weather today is brilliant for it. I should really be hammering around this course. The conditions are not too bad on the road either. A little bit slippy here and there, but uh, yeah, no problem. I spent most of this week already planning rides what are coming out. I think you'll agree we've got a few surprises which uh, surprised me. A little ride up to, uh, I don't want the name but it's called now, Trent Valley Aerodrome. They do gliders there. And do you know what? I fancy a go. So we'll, uh, we'll try and sort something out. Maybe in a few weeks time if they're flying we'll get the new camera out on that one when it arrives Last time I was here it was absolutely pitch black and uh, it is getting dark now but uh, as you can see it's uh, it's not as dark uh, than it was last time I was here. And that answers the next question. Uh, last time I was here I heard some funky noises and no doubt they, they were coming from this little stream. Going on from the last ride we had, um, we had the drone up and uh well the drone was fine of course but the uh the little iphone attached to it an iphone 6s didn't like the cold weather whatsoever a little bit of uh i did a little bit of googling on that one and looked on the apple support forums it turns out it's quite a common event uh, when the phone gets to a certain temperature it will drop and essentially power off and not let you turn it on due to uh, uh the temperature obviously uh which is perplexing really because uh I need to be able to ride with it and uh, if we can't ride I mean even if it's like temperatures like that I mean yeah it was what two degrees one degree when I went out so yeah it's cold I can understand that but uh, I'm gonna need to find a way of insulating it so it doesn't actually just shut down on me uh, that way at least I can get the phone working and the drone in the air um, there's an application we can purchase as well Lychee? 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 Anyway, specifically for the Mavic Mini, which enables it to uh, have a uh, follow me, which basically means if we were on this road here, and the drone's up in the air, just there, um, I could on the phone, censor it to me, it would obviously, load, you know, track me, and then I'll start moving, and then off it goes. 
Now obviously we have to be very careful with this because obviously the Mavic Mini doesn't have any uh, obstacle avoidance sensors on it. Well it does, down, uh, but not forward or, or back. Uh, so something like this with uh, no trees on one side of the road at least not too many obstacles we will be able to be yeah be able to track and if it can track us then great it's only when we come up against little obstacles like trees um we have to either be above them or well beyond them for it to track but uh that's going to take a bit of practice for me i think to uh, learn how to pilot that um yeah we'll have some fun uh, but the goal was always get the Mini, the Mavic Mini, to test, play, practice and then uh, hopefully when the Mavic Mini 3 gets released, April is what I'm hearing, um, we'll dive in for that and if we're really, 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 really lucky, um, it'll have obstacle avoidance on it so we won't need to worry about trees and uh, buildings. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna push on now because uh, I'm losing daylight, like it's going out of fashion. Also, uh, I did promise to wash the bike after the last ride. Um, I must admit, the bike got put in the back of the car left in the back of the car. I've been working my socks off all week, not been out in the car, like stayed in the car, <laughs> like not got washed. But I do promise, I do promise, I'm gonna have to give both of these bikes, oh, you're cheerful, I'm gonna have to give both of these bikes a full clean and a service, because they certainly need it. It's absolutely amazing how quick it is, it gets dark. Why it's just disappearing before our eyes. Alright, a little bit of a crossing to come up next. A46. And then a little bit of a bump. Catch you on the flip side. And just like that, it's nearly dark. Don't forget to click the bell at the bottom and I'll catch you in the next video.